episode 479 of 360 Wrestling Fanatic. I will be talking about tonight's episode of AEW Saturday Collision. The final stop before AEW All in London. Right here, right now, 360 Wrestling Fanatic. Welcome, wrestling fanatics. Welcome to this episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic on this Saturday night, the night before AEW All in London. And on this episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic, gonna be talking about The go-home episode of AEW Saturday Collision. So let's get into tonight's episode of Collision without any further ado. Tonight's Saturday Collision was taped this past Wednesday night in Duluth, Georgia. Right after Wednesday night's episode of Dynamite. Our commentators tonight, Kevin Kelly and Caprice Coleman, filling in for Nigel McGuinness this week. And I thought these two worked pretty well together tonight. Of course, Kevin Kelly, very good on commentary. And Caprice Coleman as well. He's great on Ring of Honor with Ian Riccoboni. And we start things off on Dynamite tonight with what was supposed to be the retirement of the FTW Championship by Jack Perry. He made it kind of like this whole funeral thing for it. And then he's just when he's about to smash it with a sledgehammer he is interrupted and we see a video of the former FTW champion and the son of the man who created the FTW championship Taz it's Hook and he talks about how Jack Perry cannot destroy the FTW Championship. He says he is the FTW Championship. And then we go back to the arena. It's still dark. And then when the lights come back on, Hook is in the ring, delivers a T-bone suplex to Jack Perry. And at this time, we find out that Hook and Jack Perry will go one-on-one tomorrow at All in London. One time, these two guys were actually good friends, tag team partners, the team Jungle Hook. But that is no more. And I expect that we will probably see a pretty good match between these two at All In tomorrow and I'm looking forward to this one anyway I'll give my predictions for the matches tomorrow morning on Good Morning Wrestling Fans and next up we have a trios match Eddie Kingston the AEW International Champion Orange Cassidy 
and Penta El Zero Miedo taking on Kip Sabian, The Butcher, and The Blade in a trios match. I thought this was a pretty good opener for Collision tonight. I enjoyed it. It was a pretty fun match. I give it two and a half out of five ring bells. And next up, Dark Order is in action. John Silver and Alex Reynolds taking on the team of Action Andretti and Darius Martin. Not a bad match here. But I want to say anything real special though. Dark Order gets to win when Reynolds pins Martin. Two out of five ring bells. Big Bill is in action next. I missed the name of the guy he beat, but it was just a pretty quick enhancement kind of squash match. I'd say two out of five ring bells. And after the match, Ricky Starks cuts a promo and says the guy is just like rings, uh, sorry, just like Steamboat. And he's gonna pretty much do what he did to Ricky Steamboat and he starts whipping him with the belt. Of course, Ricky Starks still suspended from in ring competition. That's why he went and got his manager's license and now is managing Big Bill. Women's action up next. We have Willow Nightingale taking on Robin Renegade. And I like Kevin Kelly, but that's one thing that was missing on last week's episode of Collision. And that was Ian Riccoboni usually making the song or the rap to Willow's theme song while she is making her entrance. But some good news tonight, since he was on the show, Caprice Coleman actually did it like Ian Riccoboni would normally do. And he did a pretty good job at it. And this one's a pretty good match. In Robin's corner is her sister, Charlotte. And they have a fine match. Two and a half out of five ring bells, I'd say. Willow Nightingale gets the win. Next up, we have Limitless Keith Lee taking on Zicky Dice, who most previously competed in Impact Wrestling for a while and then lost a Loser Leaves Impact match to Johnny Swinger. This one, Keith Lee gets the win. Two out of five ring bells. Not too bad. And our main event tonight is an eight-man tag. It is CM Punk, Sting, Darby Allen, and Hook taking on Swerve Strickland, Brian Cage, Luchasaurus, and Switchblade Jay White. I thought this was quite a fun main event tonight on Collision. I enjoy this match. And also on commentary is the man who will be facing CM Punk tomorrow at all in the Ring of Honor World Television Champion Samoa Joe. And like I said, good match here. I'd say three and a half out of five ring bells. CM Punk gets the submission win, summoning Luchasaurus to do Samoa Joe's Conquina Clutch while he was watching on commentary. And then both teams start brawling, and also Jack Perry makes his way out. And him and Hook brawl into the crowd and up into the stands. And that was tonight's AEW Saturday Collision. I thought it was a really good go-home show tonight, the night before All In. I enjoyed it. So overall, 
has a rating for the whole show. I'd say 8 out of 10 ring bells. Definitely looking forward to All In. And I know I already have been looking forward to it for a while now. But I would say maybe even a little more if it was possible. It got me even a little more excited for All In than I already was. Which now brings me to a little more. Let's talk about a little news before I wrap up this episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic. Real quick suggestion I want to make for a quick read. PostWrestling.com Forever Hardcore The Story of Terry Funk written by John Pollock. I just want to recommend that. Great tribute to the legend Terry Funk. It's a great read, so do yourself a favor and check that out. And tonight in England, Chris Jericho showed up at the Rev Pro Show and attacked Will Ospreay. Not too surprised since I'm sure all the AEW crew is there in England by now. And also Jericho played a show with Fozzy today. Which of course Fozzy will be performing Judas tomorrow at All In in Wembley Stadium. And that's all for this episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic. Thank you everyone for tuning in tonight. And we'll be back tomorrow morning for Good Morning Wrestling Fans. And like I've been saying, sometime tomorrow night, going to try to have the usual pay-per-view night live episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic talking about all in London and also Impact Wrestling Emergence. But since I will be home watching All In tomorrow afternoon, but right after it is over, I have to go to work, then close, and then come home, watch Impact's Emergence. And then after that, I will try to come on for the live episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic. That's why I said I'm not sure as of right now what time the episode of the podcast will be starting. But like I said, first things first though, tomorrow morning, good morning wrestling fans, where I will preview all in London and emergence. So once again, thank you for tuning in tonight to this episode 479 of 360 Wrestling Fanatic. It's appreciated. Remember in the comments section if you have any questions or comments. If you want to leave your feedback for tonight's episode of AEW Saturday Collision. You can also leave your feedback on the very nice tribute episode of SmackDown last night for Terry Funk and Bray Wyatt. Also, you can still leave any of your favorite memories or moments, matches of Terry Funk or Bray Wyatt or both. Just leave them in the comment section either here on Spreaker or YouTube or whichever podcast you listen to podcast app, I should say, you listen to 360 Wrestling Podcast on. And that's all for tonight. We'll be back tomorrow morning, 360 Good Morning Wrestling fans. But until then, I am Lance, and I am a wrestling fanatic.